Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty, and welcome back to the NCAA Tournament. This LBSU team has been very good in our first season in the Pac-12, but now we face off against everybody else in the field as we are the number four seed in our region. And in the first round, we will face off against Indiana, who has a pretty good team. They were the last Big Ten team to really make the tournament. So they are in the tournament as a at-large bid, but not really one of the cream of the crop teams in this tournament. So we start out this game in the second half here as we do have a small lead clinging on to a 47-45 lead here at the start. Here's a three taken by Indiana, knocked down from the corner over Justin Johnson. And now Indiana with the one-point lead. Back the other way, Macklin from the corner gives us a lead right back, 50-48. to Let's see if our defense can step up in the second half. There is a nice play on defense, rebound up to Josie, up to Justin Johnson, he nails the three. Now a five point game. Justin Johnson has really come into his own shooting threes. Here is a pass inside and that is gonna be good. Great pass on the inside, gets around the defender and now it's a three point lead. Here is Justin Johnson back for another three and that is good. I noted that earlier in the season, I was very, very hesitant to take threes with Justin Johnson because for some reason he just couldn't make them. But here is Solomon Thomas in the middle. Solomon Teixeira, I said Th Solomon Thomas, that's funny. And we take the eight point lead. So here's a drive inside and Justin Johnson does get called for the foul. And if he has a big tournament, he is a freshman, he's only 18 years old. He could make a run and honestly get on those NBA boards. I think that's what everybody's looking for now. Starting to get that that top talent. A lot of guys like to go one and done. 58-55. Now here's a steal in transition. Up to Macklin. Macklin shoots the three and it is good. How about Macklin, man? Such a good three-point shooter. Shot 45% from three in the regular season. And now here we are with the six-point lead. Now here is Indiana getting to the lane, though. That's a layup. Now just a four-point lead. Now a five-point lead. Fade away. Now just a three-point lead. Indiana starting to come back. And here is the five foot eight point guard, Nick Miles off the bench. Remember, started at one point this season, pass inside, and that is a good play inside. William Caesar in the land of the Giants. And now with seven and a half to go, here's Indiana, inbound pass, missed shot, offensive rebound, good. And Indiana now down by just one. They are making this a game. Here's Nick Miles though, a little pick and roll action, and he gets the pass inside to Solomon Teixeira. And now it's a three-point lead for LBSU right back. Good defense being played by Teixeira. Block shot. Here we go the other way. AJ, Steve Jenkins, I should say, posting up, passing back out to the perimeter. William Caesar takes it back out. Back to Jenkins. Gets into the lane. Jump shot. Good. Jenkins is so good defensively that he just shines on the offensive end as well. So good in transition as defense turns into offense. Here is a three. This time, Carriar off the bench. Man, our bench is deep. We can go down to the 12th man and still be good versus most teams. Here's Teixeira on the inside. He gets that one blocked, it looks like. And Miles gets the rebound, and he gets blocked. But the steal, Solomon Teixeira playing heads-up basketball. It's a 10-point lead now for LBSU. Here's a deflection this time. Did you see our gap? Shakar is starting to mess up in transition. Justin Johnson gets it to go. And one, it's now a 12-point lead. I apologize for the quality here. This is when my capture card started to go haywire. I have no idea why. But you can just see now it's a big lead, 12-point lead here with a minute and a half to go. Pass to the perimeter. Macklin trying to get to the lane. Back out, Justin Johnson. Deep three, and it's good. 15-point lead now. It looks like this game is way out of reach. Inbound the ball into Steve Jenkins. He's going to go to free go to the free throw line to ice this game. The first of two is good. And this one should do it here with this second free throw. It's good. We go on to win this game, and that is going to be another double-digit victory for LBSU this season. We are 19-1 when leading at halftime this season. Just an incredible effort from these guys. Our bench is super deep. When Justin Johnson and Macklin have games like that, I don't know who can beat us. I mean... Honestly, if you stop Macklin, but then Johnson's on, 
it's over. And then when they're both on, I mean, you can't catch up with that offense. It's just too much. Tim Davis for Indiana did have a 20-point game, but that will end their season. So we move on to the round of 32 now. The winner of Western Kentucky and Kentucky moves on to play us, and Western Kentucky defeats Kentucky. And they had a great season, 31-2. Their best season in school history. Very, very good season from them. This will be a tough matchup as they've only had two losses this entire way. And they were in a smaller conference, so we'll have to see how this goes because maybe their competition wasn't that good. But 31-2 and two is impressive. They have put in the work, and they didn't just beat Kentucky. They destroyed Kentucky in the first round. So now let's see what they got as we will face Western Kentucky here. They are a five seed in our bracket. We are the four seed. The winner will move on to play Michigan, the number one overall seed in our bracket. So we will have our work cut out for us. We'll have to see how it goes. And Western Kentucky, like I said, one of the most underrated mid-majors and the best mid-major in the NCAA this season. So we start off this game with the eight to four lead and now Western Kentucky goes to the line, eight to six. It's now a two point game. Let's see if we can get going on the inside this game. But here's Kentucky playing some defense, Western Kentucky that is, and they get the steal. Sloppy offense so far. Justin Johnson gets doubled again and here's a layup by Josie McKay that they are gonna call an offensive foul on him. So two early turnovers here for Long Beach. Here's Jenkins handling the ball, pass inside to Miles and he misses one. So we cannot buy a bucket here in the first five minutes. Only eight points scored. And now here's a three the other way. Western Kentucky misses. Here's Miles on the rebound, pushing it up the court. Can we finally get some offense going? Here's Madoki in the post, back out. Macklin misses, but rebound by Teixeira, and he throws it down on his head. Wow, the seven-footer gets one to go that time off the offensive rebound, and now 10 to six. Now we're starting to play some defense as here is Miles getting into the lane. Passing over to the seven-footer, Teixeira. Tries to get his man off the ground and throws one up and does get the foul call on Arsenio Beard. And now it's 12 to eight. Both teams looks like they're playing good defense to start out this game. Here's Teixeira inside and he gets it to go. He's got eight, three of three to lead our team so far. And now here's Western Kentucky the other day. Other way, good defense that time by Josie McKay. Now eight to 14, here's a corner three. And that is Macklin. He knocks it down, he's got six early points. And now here comes LBSU playing some more defense. Here we go the other way. Here is Macklin all the way to the basket. He gets blocked as Johnson gets the rebound, pushes it back outside. Let's see what we do. Working it inside to Teixeira. They try to double team him, open Macklin. He knocks it down, 19 to eight. And look at LBSU. Little bit of offense goes a long way. But here's the defense by Western Kentucky going the other way. This is a transition dunk, and that is good. I've never seen that dunk in NCAA 10. That's Bob Spencer on the open uh, dunk that time. As we get it back down the other way, Roddy Madoki gets going inside. You can see they're shooting only 31% from the field to start this game. And here they are on offense. Offensive rebound this time. Put up and in, and it's good. Good play that time by Western Kentucky getting the offensive boards and the hustle points. And now here is Spencer. He gets a jump shot, and it's good. 21 to 17 now. Here comes Western Kentucky back in a drive to the basket over our man, Nick Miles, five foot eight. You know they're always gonna take advantage of him because of his size. So back to a two point game, but LBSU does stretch it a little further to five off of the three from Macklin. Back to a three-point game now. About two minutes left here in the first half. Jenkins getting the pick. He's so good at that. Getting to the lane, and it's good. Five-point lead right back. Can we finally come up with a steal? Now this time, it's going to be a moving screen call on Western Kentucky. As we go the other way, after that turnover, here's Nick Miles open from mid-range, and he knocks it down. He's such a good jump shooter. It's now a seven-point game. So here comes Western Kentucky on their next possession. And another moving screen, once again by Bob Spencer. And West Kentucky might be shooting themselves in the foot. Here is William Caesar on the inside. He was matched up against a point guard. That's a mismatch all day, 30 to 21. Now under 30 seconds left here in the first half. Here's a shot from mid range, and that is good from about free throw range. 
And now it's a seven point game here. We're gonna hold for the last shot. Here's Macklin causing some separation. He pulls up from deep and nails it. 14 points for Macklin in the first half. And that's how we will go into halftime. How about Macklin, man? So good in his senior year at creating his own shot. You just remember the last three years. That wasn't his game. He was a catch and shoot guy. But now we're up by 10 at half. So we begin the second half. How about the defense in the first half? 23 points given up. And here is Macklin knocking that one down. 13 point lead at that point. And Macklin's such a good shooter. Here he is inside. He gets a pass from William Caesar. No look as well. And he finds his man Macklin, the leader of this team. Now back to a 13 point game. Here is Western Kentucky the other way, passing it around to the perimeter, and it's good. And they're showing some fight, but they have not shot well in this game. The defense is just stifling. Macklin open again from the perimeter, knocking it down. And it looks like this is going to be a high-volume game for Macklin. Defensive rebound by Steve Jenkins. Here we are pushing up in transition. Johnson trying to create his own shot this time. Let's see what he does, set up the offense, but look into the corner. It's Macklin who leaves him wide open. He knocks another one down from the corner. Now a 14 point game. So 43-31, and look who's open, Macklin again. How many threes will he hit this game? He's open again, why keep doing it? 46-33 now, we're on a run. Here he is open again. What are they doing on defense? You just can't do that. It's the biggest lead of the game. 16 for LBSU. Offensive board by Western Kentucky, but it's gonna be a miss. And look at the pass all the way up court. Justin Johnson's there for the layup. A little bit of cherry picking going on, but Josie McKay with the pass right on the money. 16 point lead, Justin Johnson. Pick and roll action, he goes all the way. Maybe even a little foul at the end. He gets it to go nonetheless. Now. Nick Miles in the game handling the ball. Passing it inside to Shara, and he gets fouled. Now up to an 18 point game. Western Kentucky now just trying to stay in this game. It's just not working. Steal the other way. Macklin feeling it, and it's good. 21 point lead, the biggest of the game. Macklin is just on fire. Here's a careless pass that time though by Macklin in transition. A missed layup by Western Kentucky. Here we go the other way now. Back and forth. Here is Solomon to share a pass up. Steve Jenkins, he gets it to go with the contact. Now a 23 point game. And now we wind down under five minutes left here in this one. It looks like we're putting Western Kentucky away. Here is Jenkins with the move and the dunk. And man making his man look silly, throwing it down in traffic as well. Steve Jenkins, such a gifted player, offensively and defensively. I think he will return next season, but you never know. He could get NBA buzz. Here with a 20-point lead, Ronnie Madoki on the steal. Nick Miles open. In the corner, hits the three. So good of a shooter. That left hand is so sweet to look at. And now it's 69-48. Here is Nick Miles, causing separation. He has a bigger man on him. Let's see what he does. Calls for the pick from William Caesar out to the corner, and he knocks it down again. 24-point lead for LBSU. Two to go. Western Kentucky, they just look far outmatched here in this one. Here's a pass to the perimeter back to Miles. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. He's looking for the pick from Caesar. Gets a little bit of separation and jacks it up. 25-point lead. It looks like Western Kentucky is just giving up now. Here's a pass to the perimeter one more time. Carriar in the corner, knocks it down. 28 point victory here as LBSU moves back to and returns to the Sweet 16. And what a great victory this was. I mean, they just could not keep up with our offense and they couldn't get around our defense. Tamir Macklin had 33 points, including a streak where he hit, I believe that was six straight threes in a row. And it's just that, you know, teams just need to keep up with our offense and then get around our defense. I mean, we're so gifted on both sides. Steve Jenkins definitely leads that. I mean, ever since we put him in the starting lineup, we've definitely seen that change on defense, his length and just his ability to play pretty much defense on every single position. He can guard a one through five now, and he's six foot eight. I mean, why not? Tamir Macklin did go nine of 16 from three. 
and Nick Miles in the last two minutes of the game went three of three from deep. It was just too much for Western Kentucky to handle. And they had an excellent season, 31 and three as a whole, but they come up just short in this round. So we move on to the Sweet 16 now. Let's just check on our friends in the West region, Arizona, who had the number one overall seed. They are still alive. They defeated Gonzaga, our old rivals, in the last round. And they move on to the Sweet 16. And in our bracket, we will face the number one seed in our bracket here in this, in this region, Michigan. They did defeat Oklahoma by double digits. So we will have a tough game next, next episode. And then the winner of that will play either Duke or Tennessee. It's so funny. We keep playing the same teams now. We played Duke earlier. We might play them again if we win in the Sweet 16. But we have to get through Michigan first. They are our number one seed. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We'll be back for more LBSU action soon. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Back again like flu season. I broke records while loose leafing. I'm coming now on my roof leaving. Don't give a f I don't care. Uh, 